This is Twit. Was the Corsair, this is the SFX, is that the little tiny yes. platinum power supply that they announced? Yeah. This thing, I, I cannot get used to these. I am... I am so obsessed with these. Not that I need one. Not that I have anything. You know, I, 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 I'm pretty good on power supplies. But I was cradling this thing. It's like you know the size <laughs> of a couple decks of cards. It seems like it's yeah, not quite small. that small. Yeah, and this is this but is the standard SFX too. Like there's SFX L. Yeah. You see a lot of those, especially at, at higher uh, like power ratings. Mm-hmm. You, we've seen 750 watts before, I think, but it was an SFX L. You may have even seen 800 watts from SFX L. But if you're looking at the get, video right now, it's yeah. tiny. It's the one on the left. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it makes an SFXL almost look big, and it's m- way less than half the size of an ATX power supply, even a smaller one. And this mm-hmm. will fit in almost anything. There are, there are small mini ITX enclosures that allow you to go up to SFXL, but then sometimes, depending on the build, you run into issues with like you know having enough room for your modular connectors and that sort of thing. So it, but I have never seen, we have never seen in the industry a power supply this dense, 750 watts in something this size is just crazy to me. And yeah. it's not just that it's powerful, it's extremely efficient. This is a platinum rated power supply. And Lee, if you read the review, he goes through on the test bench uh, and he tests everything, tests and load regulation you know, AC ripple and efficiency and all that. And it, it passes everything and does extremely well. This is coming with a set of Corsair's nice, like, sleeved, uh, shorter cables for that small enclosure. And it's not inexpensive. This is a new line that ra- ranges from 119 to $179, depending on the, uh, the model, with this 750 being the high-end model. But if you... If you're looking at like the absolute most you can cram into the tiniest enclosure possible, this is about as good as you can do right now. And and I, it, it made me think about, okay, well, what, what case do I have that actually requires a power supply like this? And I don't actually have any here. One of the first cases I ever reviewed was the N-Case M1, that crowdfunded case that was just the size of a shoebox, basically. And more recently, I, I did the Dan Case's case. That's, again, like shoebox size, even smaller than the M1. And with the N case, you could actually use a uh, ATX power supply if you really wanted to, even though you, you, you lost a lot of volume inside the case by doing that and had fewer options with your build. But the Dan cases, you pretty much have to use SFX. And if you use SFX L you, again, are losing space. So this is just one of those things where if, if you're into the really tiny mini ITX builds, but you want to use things like, uh, you know, you can buy a mini ITX board for Ryzen. I actually have, right. I have one of those right here. You get yourself a, a mini ITX board, put your, put your like eight core CPU in there and you want to run the latest, you know, high power GPU, like a 2080 Ti. You can do it. If you have a power I, I have one of those, but it's at the other end of the house. <laughs> 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 I don't want to disappear and not come back. But it's, I mean, it's incredible how dense, I mean, you know, because I've got, you know, a machine that's this big that I'm putting an 1800X into or an enclosure. It's incredible how dense you can get at this point in terms of power supplies, motherboards, computing power. Um, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so. it's a nice clean layout inside too. I was looking at the uh, the teardown photos that Lee always does, and it's like that's a very clean looking little power supply in there. I was expecting it to be a little bit more like disorganized, I guess, for its size, <laughs> but not really. Oh my goodness! Uh, Gold Award, um, not the cheapest 750 watt power supply. Yeah, but that's really the seven- only drawback. But at this point, you don't really have any other options, so it's true. I mean, if you want to know the top, well rated. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, I guess it's like the SF450 is 120 bucks, the 600 is 149 bucks, the 750 is 180 bucks, and it's amazing. Uh, you know, do the math on on your GPU and and your CPU before you commit to a large power supply because you may not need the power supply you think you need. 